So, uh, Jane Peterman wants to hire some of our cartoonists to uh, illustrate your catalog. Well, we're hoping that if perhaps the catalog is a little funnier, people won't be so quick to return the clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, for example, I, you know, I really do... Well, I love this one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a rather clever jab at inter-office politics, don't you think? Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, why is it that the, that the animals enjoy reading the email? Well, Ms. Ben, is, uh, cartoons are like gossamer, and uh, one doesn't dissect gossamer. <laughs> Well, you don't have to dissect it. If you could just tell me why this is supposed to be funny. Oh, it's merely a commentary on contemporary mores. <laughs> but what is the comment? It's a slice of life. No, it isn't. A pun? I don't think so. Wolstein? That's not a word. <laughs> you have no idea what this means, do you? No. no. Then why did you print it? I like the kitty. Oh, you know what? You people should be ashamed of yourselves. You know, you doodle a couple of bears at a cocktail party talking about the stock market. You think you're doing comedy. Actually, that's not bad. Oh, really? Oh, yes. But, you know, I have others. I met with their cartoon editor, and I got him to admit that that cartoon made no sense! Wow, good work, Nancy Drew. <laughs> then we ended up going out to lunch, and he had some great gossip about James Thurber. Nodding off. And he said I could submit some of my own cartoons. Wow, that's incredible. <laughs> but you don't draw. I do, too. What, your sad little horsies? The house with the little curl of smoke? The sunflower with the smiley face. The transparent cube. That's better than your drawings of naked Lois Lane. Where did you see that? Those are private! I did it. I had to stay up all night, but I finally came up with a great New Yorker cartoon. I've stayed up all night. I fixed myself up a little before I go out. That is not the point. It's a mouthwash, a hat, something. Just Read it. Pretty good. Pretty good? What? This is a gem. Creamer, look at it. <laughs> what? It's funny. It's a pig at a complaint department. Yeah, and he's saying, I, I wish I was taller. <laughs> See? That, that's his complaint. I get it. Do you? Because that's not a normal complaint. Well, how about if it was something like, I can't find my receipt, my place is a sty. Well, everything with you has to be so jokey. I'm a comedian. I wish I was taller. That's, that's, that's nice. That's, that's real. Yeah, well, I got a complaint. This cartoon stinks. Well, I'll tell you who doesn't think it stinks. The New Yorker. Check it out. From the new issue of The New Yorker. It's funny, isn't it? <laughs> Look at it. The pig wants to be taller. And what's this guy gonna say, huh? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Elaine, I'm afraid I have incurred yet another flat tire. Can I fix that after lunch, sir? Oh, no. Right away. Chop, chop. Oh, a new cartoon. I wish I was taller. <laughs> I'd like to see that complaint get rectified. <laughs> you see? See? Smart people think this is funny. And you want to know why? Because I wrote it. You shouldn't make fun of pigs. <laughs> Flash of lightning, Elaine. I just realized why I like this cartoon so much. Oh, do tell, sir. It's a Ziggy. A Ziggy? That irreverence, that wit, I'd recognize it anywhere. Some charlatan has stolen a Ziggy and passed it off as his own. I can prove it. Quick, Elaine, to my archives. I see Ziggy's back at the complaint department. The New Yorker is stealing my ideas. <laughs> see, that's funny. Because it's real.